Hey, this is Teddy Burris, your uh, social media coach, consultant, trainer. My primary focus is teaching people how to use LinkedIn, but I spend a lot of time with Facebook and many of my clients do as well. One of my clients set up a fake Facebook account for her personal profile, a fake Facebook account for her business use so that she could create a business page, even though she has a original and real Facebook account for her personally, for all her Facebook friends that she uh, engages with. So she has two Facebook accounts. I mean, this is my Facebook account. It's Teddy right there. And I only have one personal profile. I don't have two. What she wants to know is how to get rid of the fake account profile that she created or a fake account, but she can't until she unassociates that personal profile from her business page. So what I want to show you is real quick how to associate or how to create another admin to a business page so you can delete the other admin. So here we go. So I'm logged in as Teddy and I'm going to go to my business page and here I am at Burris Consulting. I'm going to click on settings. Once I click on settings, I can go to page roles. So on my business page, it, uh, the admins are myself and my wife. If you set this business page up, in order to add another admin, you have to be logged in as the fake account, which is an administrator. And then what you have to do is you have to type the name or the email address associated with your real uh Facebook profile account. So, you know, so there's another, if there's another Teddy Burris, then I would type in uh, the other email address associated with that other Facebook account, your real one, rather than your fake one. And so, you know, here's where you type in your real email address at your, you know, whatever it is, you know, Time Warner Cable dot com or whatever the email address is and you make that person an admin again you're logged into Facebook with your fake account so you can manage your business page you go to settings go to page roles and you add the email address or the individual's name Facebook name so it shows up for your real account and you make that person an admin and then you save that and add that person. Once you add that person as an admin, then what you can do is log into Facebook with your real account. So you would log out of Facebook and you would log in back, log back in with your real personal profile go to the business page and then from the business page you'll see that there are now two admins your fake one and your real one and then what you're going to do is x out and delete the fake account i'm going to say this one more time the only way you can do that is once you have added the other admin, your, your real self or and or somebody else, and then you can delete out the fake account. And once you remove the fake account from the business page, then you can go into Facebook, go to settings, go to settings, go to security, and deactivate the account. Do you activate the fake account? This is Teddy Burris, your LinkedIn coach, trainer, public speaker. Today I'm sharing with you an idea about how to manage admin rights to Facebook pages. I hope this helps.